Okay, hello everyone, assalamualaikum. So here we'll see how to send notification to iOS device from Postman as well as send sound. But of course you need a real device, real iOS device, and you have to do some setup in App Store as well as in developer's account. I have another tutorial, go ahead and check that out. But here, uh, so first you have to get your device ID. So this is where we get your device ID, get our device ID and save it in this variable. And after that, make sure you have this correct permission as well as you also do this one, all the settings set to true. With this, you'd be able to get notification even if you're in the background. And right after that, over here uh, on message.listen, you don't have to have anything actually for this purpose because we are just going to listen and play the sound. We are not redirecting or do anything. And the same over here, you don't have to have anything, even though, yes, I do have some of the things, but you can totally ignore this. You don't need this anymore. And even before that, make sure you have this one over here. Uh, in iOS folder, you have to have your sound, the sound you have to, you want to play. So I want to play three different sounds, ding, task cancel, and test.wave. So they're different file format. So iOS doesn't support MP3 or anything like that. You have to make sure. And when you drag and drop this three files or any kind of uh, audio files, you have to do it through Xcode, not directly in iOS. So you have to open it in Xcode and then drag and drop and you should be good to go. Yeah, so those are the basic requirement. And now after that, I'm going to open, uh, sorry, click, I'm going to copy the device ID. All right, so after copying, uh, I'm gonna open up my Postman over here. And in Postman as well, we have to have some basic setup. We definitely have to have this Postman uh, post URL because we are posting to Google server. And at the top, you should have your data, but in your case, this data might not be important. You can just ignore that, just to write something randomly, it doesn't matter. Uh, most important thing is over here, this notification. So here I have this uh, body and title and over here you have to have this one okay and uh, you have to set them true otherwise you will not get notification and the sound the sound that you want to play now over here we have this test.wave so this is what we want to play first all right and this is where you put your device id uh, i just copied the device id so let's go ahead and paste it over here okay let me take it one more time from here and actually they look the same uh, actually, they're the same, so I don't need to go ahead and uh, copy it anymore because I already did the test. So, yeah, and the format is also important. Remember the format the way we are doing it over here. Since so the body section, this is a JSON format, right? Okay, great. With this, actually, we are ready. Now, you'll see my real device right now over here. So as the notification arrives, you'll see it immediately. And do remember, over here, we do see that it says uh, I'm great and things like that, okay? All right, so now let's go ahead and uh, uh, click. So as the notification arrives, you will see it immediately. And do remember over here, we do see that it says uh, I'm great and things like that, okay? All right, so now let's go ahead and uh, uh, click send button. And uh, okay, the notification has arrived, but there was no sound. The reason is my phone was off uh, in mute actually so over here let's try it one more time so as you see you heard the sound so this is the test wave sound all right now over here I'm going to change it to different format uh, we don't want this wave we want to have K um, kef format and then over here the format should be kef all right so let's go ahead and do that so you see all right so well of course we can change it like I'm great we can say he is great like that all right okay so let's try it one more time so you see we can send notification from postman to uh, iOS device okay now over here I can do the last one which is my favorite So this is a new sound and uh, another thing you'd see that actually we can also see the badge number over here, right? You can see this is the app that I have and right now I'm going to change the badge number to four over here. So you can also control that and now we'll see the both notification arrives with the new badge number. Okay, see? 
So this is the sound it's playing. And this is the badge number.